The IEC On Delay Timer System Function Block 4 is located in the folder Standard Library and subfolder System Function Blocks. Let's drag SFB4 onto the network. When a function block or system function block is used, you must assign a data block. Click on the three red question marks. Type in DB for data block, followed by a numeric value. Make sure the data block value has not been used in your blocks folder. We will assign data block 202 and press the Enter key. The programming editor will check the blocks folder, see that the block does not exist, and ask you if you want to generate it. Click Yes. Assign a bit to the in parameter. We will assign I0.1 and press the Enter key. To the PT input, assign a time value with the format T pound followed by days, hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. You can highlight the SFB block and press F1 for more help. Let's enter the value T pound 3 S. We will assign memory bit 99.1 as the output to be energized by the timer. Assign a memory double word such as MD400 to the ET or lapse time output. Save the block. Minimize the programming editor to return to Somatic Manager. We will now download data block 202 that was created by the editor. Don't forget to download the data block first or the CPU will fault. Click the download button. Now let's return to the programming editor and download the block FC60. FC60 is already being called from OB1. Turn on monitoring. Make sure that network 1 is highlighted since the program monitors from the highlighted network down. When I0.1 transitions to true, the timer begins to time. After the delay time, that is, when the timer times out, output memory bit 99.1 is energized. This concludes the video on using the IEC On Delay Timer System Function Block 4.